Who's Ben? What's all that, Lily? Oh, the presents! The lots. Welcome back to my channel. So, this, as you're watching this, is Boxing Day. So, I hope you've had a very Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoyed all your food, your drink, chocolates, biscuits, whatever you've eaten. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Katie. So, this is going to be 2022's What I Got for Christmas. And before I start, I have a little disclaimer. Um, this isn't me showing off or bragging about what I've got. I'd just like to share with you what I got for Christmas, just in case it's um, inspired anyone else. Um, and it's just always nice to see. I'm, I'm nosy. I like to see what other people get for Christmas. So, yeah, if you would like to see what I have been treated to this Christmas 2022, make sure you keep on watching. So I thought because it's the Harry Potter tree. Most of my presents, I'm gonna, not gonna lie, are Harry Potter related, apart from for me, I think. So it was only fitting that I come and sit amongst my Harry Potter collection and my tree to show you what I got. So, where do I start? I might actually start with what my brother got me for Christmas. Um, I have three brothers, but I only really see like one of them, like every so often. Um, he um, likes to come and see Louis and things like that and play and things like that. So he come round today because unfortunately they um, weren't feeling very well yesterday, but they were fine. But um, they popped round today for about half an hour, 40 minutes, and gave us me and Adam our presents and Louis his presents and they were catching up and because he's going to be dad soon as well. So. It was nice to see his girlfriend who's expecting and will be having her baby very soon. So I opened my present and um, he actually got me this little bag. How cute is this? <laughs> so it's a Gryffindor Hogwarts um, crossbody bag. Um, and yeah, I just love it. From, it's from Bio World. Um, and yeah, it's just this little bag. Obviously, I haven't taken it off yet, so I think the straps long. It's just a little like would be right for just like taking a couple of things out, just for when I'm nipping out anywhere. It's got this lovely little like leather tassel as well. Um, and yeah, it's just a little little cross body bag, so it'd be nice to have to use just for little outings, taking all the stuff in out and the uh, little do not eat things. Um, so yeah, it's got, has it got a little side pouch? No, I don't think so. It's just a little plain 
bag inside. But just for going nipping out to like the shop or anything, um, it'll be the perfect size. And it's actually got on the other side the little Gryffindor emblem. So that's cool. So yeah, I was really surprised um, that everyone has got on the train of knowing if they see anything like Potter to get me up for Christmas. So a little crossbody bag from my brother Matt. Next, I'm going to show you this because um, it's already out of the box. Um, this was a present from my mum. My mum got me two presents. No, one. She got me three presents, and then uh, my dad put some money in the card. Um, so my mum got me this light. I'm hoping you're going to see it. It's a golden snitch, uh, bell jar light, um, and it's powered by USB. So I can't show you it when it's lit up, but I'll try and take a picture and I'll put it in um, either here or after this part of the video. But um, yeah, it's just this little bell jar with golden snitching. Obviously, from far away, you can, you just it just looks like it's flying. Um, and it's like a cool white light, because again, my mum got me high pot related gifts. <laughs> So normally she just sticks with like the typical girly stuff, but she actually got some Harry Potter related stuff and it was just nice to know that they're like they know my interest is like mainly Harry Potter. So my shelves are gonna have to have a rejig with everything that I've got this year. <laughs> so that was one present for my mum. Um another Harry Potter related gift. This was from I'm not going in any order by the way, I'm just grabbing whatever's nearest to me so this was a little gift from adam and it's a harry harry potter book light so obviously as you guys know i like to read um and ideally i need like a lamp while i sit in the living room but the lamp's on adam's side and so he thought instead of getting another lamp you've got a little book light that you can attach to your book so um yeah that was really cool um, and it's battery powered as well so yeah I've got a little book light which um, is currently in the living room waiting to be used <laughs> so next we have an item of clothing this was from Adam um, and yeah again I was really surprised because normally I like to send links to Adam and that to help him decide what to get me for Christmas but he found all of these items on his own bar one. One I sent him the link of because it's something that's really quite new and I didn't want to miss out on it so <clears throat> this is something he chose by himself it's a hoodie and it's exclusive to the Harry Potter shop in the studio tour and it's this Warner Brothers Studio Tour London Hogwarts hoodie and look how amazing that print is on it it's so nice let's bring it in so you can see the cast a bit better but yeah because I originally thought it was like a festive hoodie but it's not it's just a generalised Warner Brothers Studio Tour London hoodie and this is I think it's part of the new exclusive clothing range that they've bought out um it's really nice and warm i tried it on um he got it in a size large and i've still got a little bit of room in it which is nice um there was something on the sleeve which sleeve is it there it is so on this one sleeve you've got the hogwarts house crests as well uh not crests uh mascots and for any eagle-eyed uh, Ravenclaw fans you actually have the eagle so you'll be pleased to know that they're starting to put the eagle on things if you're Ravenclaw <laughs> so yeah that was one of my presents from Adam I can't wait to wear it now <laughs> so I'll put that in that pile next is something else from Adam another clothing item this is for the gym um he got me this plain black hoodie which is 
Adidas or Adidas, how you say it, but I say Adidas. So it's just got Adidas down the arm and then the Adidas logo here. And it's literally just a plain black zip up hoodie. So he thought it would be something light for me to wear to and from the gym, just completely zip it on and off. Um, so yeah, that was very thoughtful of Adam. <clears throat> I was almost stuck in this big bag I've got on the bed. Let's dive in this bag. <laughs> so, next, Adam tricked me. He said he didn't get me any trainers because I, when we come back from Bournemouth um, at the start of December, um, the postman had delivered a parcel for him and it was just in this like brown Adidas parcel box <clears throat> and it looked the shape of this and he was like no I haven't got you any trainers so I said that looks like a shoe box <laughs> and he did he bought me some Adidas trainers um, and he's going to be my new trainers for the gym so let's get one out to show you so, these are my new gym trainers. So, they're just black Adidas trainers. And they've got this lovely, it looks green on the camera, but it's like a light ombre blue. It looks green on the camera, but it's a light blue. Um, so, yeah, my new trainers for the gym. I tried them on as well, and they fit. Um, so hopefully I will um, be finding these. They feel really nice, so they fit well. Um, so yeah, I've got some new trainers for the gym. That was very thoughtful, Adam. Right, next. Oh, I'll show you this because I bought this for myself. <laughs> this was a present from me to me, and it's a book, and it is. Tom Felton's book, Beyond the Wand. So it's his experiences. It's while he was filming Harry Potter, I think, and other times. Um, and it's actually got like images and things in it. So it's not just all writing, which is really good. So I cannot wait to read that. So that was a present from me to me. <laughs> because I knew Adam wouldn't want to get me any books or anything like that. So, and I think it was on offer at the time. So, um, bought that for myself. <laughs> um, I'm running out of room. Right, next. Let's go into something non hyper related. That's a hanger. Um, my mum, this is the one of the presents for my mum that is not Harry Potter related and it's just your standard smellies so she got me some Dove uh, smelly set so you've got the coconut oil shower mousse the body lotion restoring ritual body lotion and a antiperspirant deodorant so that one um, the nourishing secrets relaxing ritual wash bag gift set so yeah nice smellies to have so that was for my mum and <clears throat> this was in my stocking so um a little while ago adam got me the first ever one of these in my collection and i said to him you do realize this is started of your very own collection but i was saying it in a joking way so um <clears throat> I have got another one. So it's a Funko Pop, but they're like giant pins. So we have Miss Luna Lovegood in the pop in a pin. So I can put her now on my shelves. She's in a collection with these ones. So I won't like make, go out of my way to collect these if I see them and um Maybe if they're on offer or all reduced or something like that, I might pick them up. So I've only got this one and Dumbledore. So this was just another little stocking filler. Also in my stocking, I had, um, I don't know if you remember from my B&M haul, my Gryffindor mug. Uh, I put that in there because I thought I might as well just 
wait, I can wait a couple of weeks to have it. So I put that in there and I put Adam's Slivin one in his stocking. Um, I also put the candle that I treated myself to in B&M, which is the Harry Potter one, in the stocking as well, which I now obviously have two of because Tracy kindly gifted me one in our gift exchange. So I'm really happy that I've got two. <laughs> um, um, what else did I have in my stocking? I think that was the main things. And then I knew about this one, which I also stuck in the top of my stocking. Um, and it's a wand from Fantastic Beasts 3. So if you haven't seen Pan Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, I would advise skipping a couple of minutes because I'm going to go show the two ones that I got for Christmas and they're both from Fantastic Beasts 3 so I don't want to spoil it for anyone if, if you haven't seen it if you're not bothered then it's fine just continue to watch it but um if you haven't seen Fantastic Beasts 3 and you want to watch it I'll just skip a couple of minutes until you can see that I've gone past the ones and then you'll be able to come back and start watching the video <laughs> so I'm just giving you a pre-warning that is the warning if you have not seen Fantastic Beasts 3 skip um, a bit now so this wand is the newest ones they have well one of the newest ones in the set that they've bought out for Fantastic Beasts 3 and this was the one that I wanted like there was other ones in the set but this was the main one that I wanted because Jacob is one of my favourite characters in Fantastic Beasts and if you haven't if you've seen it then you know he gets given a wand. So I have Mr Jacob Kowalski's what they call me. Wand. I have Mr. Jacob wand. Um so this is in like a standard collector's box I believe or it's just in a standard box um, because with the ones I think they only bought them out in this kind of box anyway but I'm going to get it out and show you if you wouldn't want to see the ones unless you're not interested <laughs> so this is Jacob's wand so if you've seen the film you know roughly what it looks like so obviously these are all like from Noble Collection. Noble Collection makes like the prop replicas for Harry Potter, Fantastic Beasts, Lord of the Rings, Marvel. There's some Marvel and DC things that they do as well. But they do have so many prop replicas for Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. And the ones, I wish I could have so many more. Eventually, I think I will build and get a bit more of a collection over time. But this was one of the main ones I asked Adam for Christmas if he was going to get me a wand because this is really really new so and I knew it would be popular because it's quite a big thing in the film so yeah so this is Jacob's wand it's like this and then as you go down it's obviously curved and like bent like purposely bent <laughs> and then as you get down the bottom it's a different colour which I didn't you know I don't think you see in the films like up close so yeah I was really happy to have Jacob's wand because as I said it's one that I would really really would like and Jacob's one of my favourite characters he makes me laugh so much in the film so I I'm so happy I have Jacob's wand and they come in their little own own little boxes <clears throat> like this so if you didn't want to have them out on display or so you can just keep them in the box I have my own little wand display um, unit by my bed but I do want to get another lot of that one display because I haven't got many spaces left <laughs> um so yeah and then i can just shut the box closed and it's just got the character's name on the bottom of the box so this is 
a different box to the other ones that I got. So that is Jacob's Wand. And they're like made of resin as well. So obviously they're not toys, they're collectible ones. Obviously I let Louis like hold it but with my supervision and then I'll be like, right, that's enough. <laughs> so I will just show you the other one because that is another Fantastic Beasts Secrets of Dumbledore wand. So this one took me by surprise because Adam um, had, I think it was flash, my tree was flashing then. <laughs> I said to Adam, there was one or two other Fantastic Beasts ones that I would like. But he chose someone that I didn't even think about. Um, and yeah, he's not one of the main characters in the films. He is like a part, a good part of the film. But he wasn't someone's wand that I was looking at. But I'm really pleased that I have it in the collection because obviously he is part of the Dumbledore family. <laughs> so if you've seen Fantastic Beasts you'll know who this is. It is uh, Mr Aberforth Dumbledore and this is in the collector's style boxes. So it's over the back. Yeah so it's got on the back Fantastic Beasts, uh, Aberforth, Dumbledore, Secrets of Dumbledore. Um, Noble collection. So yeah, these are the collector boxes, collector style boxes. So they're a bit bigger, so the wand looks a bit more well presented. So in these boxes you have obviously they look different coloured boxes. You also have these like ribbon satin is it satin or was it organza i don't know it's this kind of like ribbon over the wand so you literally go like this over the wand <laughs> and then we have mr aberforth dumbledore's wand encased inside and as you can see it's much bigger than jacob's wand box if you compare the two so yeah and I shall take it out and show you. This one feels much heavier as well, but I think it's because of the, the whole shape of the wand. So this is Aberforth Dumbledore's wand. <laughs> so the handle is quite textured. Hopefully you can see that. It's very bumpy. And then it's got obviously this lovely bit in the middle of the handle. And then it's just a smooth, it's a, it's a smooth wand. So you've obviously got the two tone of the wood there. And then it's just literally down and smooth. It's like got a rounded off end as well. Yeah, this one's really smooth compared to Jacob's wand. So it's a bit more like, feels a bit more sturdy in the hand. Um, but yeah, I didn't think about Aberforth's wand at all. But I'm really happy to have it in the collection because it's someone, as I said, I wouldn't think of getting. So yeah, hopefully I can add some more Fantastic Beast ones to the collection as well as High Potter ones because there's some other High Potter ones I would love to get. I've got High Potter's, um, um, is it Hermione's? Nope, Harry Potter's, Sirius Black's, Nicholas Flamel's, George, George Weasley's, um, and then I've got some unofficial ones from Geek Gear, my Hogwarts Castle wand, which is an exclusive design, and Bellatrix and Strangers wand. So they're the ones that I have so far, and now I've got two Fantastic Beasts ones. So with the wand boxes i always put them in my trunk on the top of my shelves so yeah just so the cases are safely away and i can just have them on display so yeah that is mr aberforth dumbledore's wand so um 
you're safe to continue watching now if um, you haven't seen Fantastic Beasts 3. <laughs> so we have got two, one, two, three items left. I'll go to this one first because this is the last present from my mum. So she got me this colour changing glass. I used to have one of these but um, Louis knocked it off the table once it broke so I haven't had one for a little while. Um, so yeah it's I think it's when it gets if it's cold when it's colder I think it changes to this but when it's warmer it's just clear so it's just your Hogwarts um, crest glass yeah and it shows on the box there so it must be because it's colder but when it's got nothing in and it's normal temperature it should be clear but as it gets filled with something cold it will change to what it is now <laughs> so yeah really really happy I've got one of those again oh excuse me <laughs> um yeah and it's a really decent size I think it said said somewhere 330 mils so you're going to pit, fit like a can of can of coke or um look I've been having apple tango so um yeah that is my what do they call it just a glass colour changing glass oh I'm running out of room so actually I tell a lie I've got one more thing uh, I've got two more things in here and then one more after that which is not in a bag so these last two things in this bag genuinely took me by surprise I didn't think Adam would look at these um, they're also from Noble Collection um, and yeah I just genuinely was really surprised because again they're a collectible item <laughs> and he just got two that he liked the look of he didn't choose them for any reason apart from that he liked the look of them so here is number one of two so we have mr buckbeak you can see obviously his name there and i like the fact it comes with like a little bit of like land and things that the creature's on so here is buckbeak I would, you can I think take them out of the cases but I'm too scared, <laughs> I think you can, is it the bottom or the top, it's the bottom, so I'm going to do this once and once only, <laughs> so let's just keep that there, so it's still got, I might just take that off actually, Right, so I've done this, I'm doing this once and once only. I'm hoping it'll just stay in there. <laughs> so here we have Buckbeak out of the box. And this is the first time I've taken it out of the box. Got a little bit of plastic on his beak. There we go. So this is what it looks like out of display, the display case. It is so detailed. Like, look at his little face. <laughs> it's incredible. And then let's get you turn around so you can see the other side. It's amazing. And you've got the little like bit of land that he's like stood on as well. It's absolutely incredible. So that is Buckbeak, and I'm going to put him safely back in his case before anything happens to him. <laughs> so that is Buckbeak in his case, and he's staying in there because <laughs> I do not want anything to happen to him. So I think they look cool in their display cases anyway. So this was the first one. I'm just going to put him over there now. And the second one, again, I genuinely didn't think about because it's a fantastic beast. I was surprised by these anyway because these are collectible creatures. Um, I would like to get a couple of other ones like of my favourite. So maybe I'll do that in the future, like maybe for birthdays or something like that. But 
This one is specifically from Fantastic Beasts, and it's the creature that is called the Frooper. <laughs> so, yeah, it, this one is really heavy. Like, look how much detail there is in that. Um, and I had to remind myself what the Frooper does, and it's a bird. Um, in the Fantastic Beasts series, that um, their song can make people like go, make people go insane. <laughs> so the Frooper has to come with a silencing charm, um, and yeah. So Newt Scamander has one in the films. He actually comes off the um, stand. So I'm actually going to take the plastic off again for the first time. The Frooper comes off the sand by himself. So this is the Frooper. Look how big he is. This is genuinely like massive. So they always come, they come with brightly coloured feathers, it says. Um, that's his little tail. But yeah, he's standing on little piece of rock um, and then he is he going like this this is why I didn't want to take him out I think it goes like that so he goes like this in the stand and this is how he looks so he's looking away but how detailed is that it's amazing so that is the Whooper from Fantastic Beasts and um, I think they're going to be going up on the top shelf because that's where I wanted like my most delicate items in my collection and these are definitely delicate. Whooper back in his case and that's how he stands, he's literally looking away from you. <laughs> Oh, this is why he's wobbling around so much. Um, so yeah, these were two presents from Adam um, for Christmas. And I was genuinely shocked, like, speechless. I didn't think of anything like this for Christmas. So yeah, I was really, really surprised when I pulled these out of these little gift bags that he used. So I'm just putting them over there. And then, that is everything in the bag, isn't it? That's just a box for the light. Yeah. So, you might be able to see something behind me. I'm just going to quickly stop here for a minute. I'm going to enter a clip of my last gift from Adam this Christmas because he filmed a reaction, my reaction to this present. So, that clip will be after, um, after this. Um, segment so I'm going to put in the clip now and then I will grab um, grab what it is and show you it um, that's going to be the last gift Just quickly before I show you, the magical creatures actually come with these little removable covers as well. So if you didn't really want to take them out of the box, you could leave these removable sleeves on. Um, and it's just got all the Noble Collection stuff on it and the information of who it is. Um, so yeah, if you really wanted to be extra careful and have them in extra covering, then you could have these on, but I'm going to just leave them in their cases. And the Frooper has one as well. I think it's over there on the bed. So you would have seen what my last present was from Adam. And it is <laughs> my very own Hogwarts, it's so heavy, <laughs> Hogwarts house robe. And I pray my trip to the studios goes ahead in April because I will be like in full cosplay 
in my uniform that I was going to wear anyway, with my robe, with my name on. He actually got it personalised with my name on. And I know that's not accurate to the films, but how cool does that look? Flipping amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to try and try it on with my jumper, I know. <laughs> um, just so you can see. I think, I can't remember if I tried it on in the clip, but um, I'm going to try it on now. <laughs> in my phone. <laughs> I honestly love this so much and I'm just going to grab my wand because in here, where is it, is, I'm going to undo the button because I can't see, just here is your wand pocket and that fits like, like a glove. <laughs> So there you go, got a little one pocket. So yeah, <laughs> I've got my own robe. <laughs> Can you tell how excited I am? I genuinely feel like, apart from my jumper, it's amazing. Like, it doesn't touch the floor either, which Adam was worried about. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish my video in my robe. So. That was everything that I got for Christmas 2022. I was genuinely shocked by everything, especially this, especially the magical creatures, um, especially the other ones that I didn't know was going to be here, like I didn't know Adam had chosen. Even the presents from my parents and my brother, like them getting on the bandwagon with choosing me Harry Potter related presents. It's just so nice to know that they're on the bandwagon with knowing what I would like for Christmas, like what I'm really interested in. So yeah, I cannot wear this, can't not wait to wear this studios, to wear it with my full uniform and look like a boss. <laughs> um, I've got my wonders in there. So yeah, um, really, really happy. And he, Adam was extra happy it fits because he can't return it because where he's personalised it, he can't return it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got for Christmas and I hope you have had a magical few days of celebrating Christmas um, and if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a like and if you knew I'd really 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 appreciate you subscribing to my channel because I've only like 110 111 subscribers away from a, like a thousand and it would be amazing if I could reach that hopefully next year but definitely sooner rather than later because it's like been an achievement of mine that I would love to like get to. So if you really do enjoy Harry Potter related content, shopping hauls, um, my weight loss journey, that will be coming again. I'll be um, starting in the new year, my weight loss journey again. Um, and I'm going to be doing some future bookish content as well this um, um, coming year and I'm going to hopefully start doing my card reading videos again. So if you find any of that interesting, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you'll be notified whenever any of my videos go up. So I hope you have a wonderful new year. I shall speak to you very soon. Take care. Bye. Oh, I love this.